Bye, pals. This is SMI. Today's tutorial is going to be Nightmare Before Christmas slash Cantio. This is going to be a Jack, Jack Skeleton X Mail Metagar Rear. So, if you guys enjoy part one of one, let's see what happens. Here you guys go. Yeah, Bruno was going to Tolly's room, thinking that Tolly was in his room playing something. Bruno knocked on the door. It's open. Tolly said, still packing and arranging stuff to head out of Vicantio forever. Bruno opened the door. Brother, Bruno said, looking at his brother packing stuff up. Where are you going? Bruno said, I'm leaving Vicantio for good. Toy said, grabbing everything he had. Why are you leaving? Bruno said. Mother can't understand me. Maribel won't have a quirk. Maribel won't have a gift. Toy said, looking at Bruno in the eyes. I try to warn her. Don't do the ceremony. Maribel will break your heart. But she didn't listen like always. Toy said, I get more stuff. Bruno looked at him. Wait, you saw it too, what I saw? Yes, Maribel doesn't get a gift. Then sure, she becomes betrayed by the family. You know how it is, Bruno, Toya said, grabbing everything and putting it in his luggage. Now can you leave me alone? I'm finishing packing and I'm leaving. Bruno cried. Brother, you're supposed to be there for me. Julieta and Peppa. Why are you leaving me all of a sudden? Because mother doesn't love me. Mother only loves her three triplets. I said, grabbing Bruno's shoulders. Here, a final gift for Mirabelle. Promise she has it. Toya said, giving the butterfly. It's a butterfly. Make sure she keeps it safe. It's a reminder of me, all right? Bruno cried. I promise she has it. Bruno said, Smiling. I'm off, Toya said, taking his luggage and leaving the house. Bruno waited through the window. Adios, brother. May your travels delight you. Bruno watched Toya's child disappear, and he train somewhere far away. Toya went to the train and landed in Halloween Town. Toya smiled and made a smile as well. Welcome, up, Kissime. The mayor said, smiling. Nice to see you again. Mayor, Toya said. How are the villagers doing? Toya asked. I'm very sad. The king hasn't returned yet. Where has he gone? Toya said. Since it's almost Halloween, Jack should be here soon. The mayor said, tapping his foot impatiently. Easy then, mayor. Are you going to pop a Blood wrestle again, Toya said, loving out his tails. Ah, yeah, sorry, the mayor said. Then the pumpkin kid magically showed up. Ah, there he is, the pumpkin kid. And looked to the mayor and saw a male yeah, having purple hair and nine tails. His heart pummeled through his chest. What is this beauty, he thought. Watch as the customary fox looked him straight in the eyes. Jack shivered in joy to someone new in the in the Halloween town. So he bowed to Jack. Nice to see you, Jack Skeleton. So he said, smiling. Nice to meet you as well, Jack said. Oh, man, it's different here. Jack said, the township people popped, popped their heads up. Jack, you returned! The townspeople cheered. Halloween is saved, townspeople said. Really, you thought Halloween would not be saved? Jack asked, looking at them. Well, we thought you'd never return, the townspeople said. I always return, remember? Jack said, looking at a fine Kesame fox. It might you be. May I look to the shyness in the Kesame's eyes and then confessed. This is Toy Matagara. He's from a county, but he came here all the way here to live his life here. 
The mayor said, bowing to, to Jack. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Matagara. Toy blushed and put his hand out. Nice to meet you as well. Toy said, smiling. Jack, being the gentleman he is, kissed Toy's hand. Do a dear pleasure. I tend to do that a lot, Jack said. In due time, I'll understand it, Toy said. Toy and Jack walked across the village, looking at everything else of Halloween Town. Jack took him to the graveyard, and his Jack's dog actually shut up. Hello, boy. Toy said, bang down and pay the ghost dog. The dog barked happily and enjoyed being paid. And you'll enjoy his pets more than mine, Jack said. Don't be that grumpy, Toy said, giving him a kiss and a smile. All right, I won't, Jack said. Looking at the customer fox. Let's keep walking, Jack said. Very well, said Tony. Jack and Tony had out in one of the houses that Jack owns. Jack opens the door for the customer and allows, helps with the luggage. You know I could have done that, Tony said. No, oh, I'd assist to help you, Jack said. I went down as a bullet shed, even though know, he's not what he is a prince. Tony laughed in his head and followed Jack to a room. This will be your room, Jack said, closing the door for Tony. Thank you, Jack, said Tony. I'll see Jack put Tony's stuff away. You know, I could have done that, Tony said. I'm here to help you, Jack said, smiling. I don't want those pretty hands getting dirty, Jack said, smiling. Are you then, Tony said. We guys enjoy part one one.